Okay. So you've heard me talk all about how we are all different. And we're going to talk about why it's okay to be different and how we can all feel happy and special. Do you know what special means? Special can be something that's your favorite. It could be your special toy. Special could also be an important day, like your birthday could be a special day. And you might have a special friend, your best friend or a special teacher, your best favorite teacher, okay? And we are all special also. Every single student in Combi, every, every child in the world is special because we are all good at some things. Some people might be very good at talking. Some people might be very good at maths. Some people might be very kind with a good heart. It means that you don't always have to be number one. Okay? You might not be the fastest in your class or you might not be the best in your football team. You might not come number one in a spelling competition, but you're special in your special way. Let me think of some of my giraffe students. Hmm. I think Jado is special because Jado always knows how to give big hugs. And Jado is very kind to his friends. I think Riri is special because Riri is very clever. Riri is very clever. He can learn something very quickly. I think Nathan is special because Nathan's English is very good. And Nathan thinks like a big person. So he's only a small boy, but he has a very clever brain. I think Suchin is special because she's always so funny and she's very good with her conversation. I think Chai Long is special and Emma are special because they were the first students to read in combi class. Who else do we have? Yong An is special because he always likes to try to make his friends laugh. And who else do we have that I've forgotten? Tiger. Tiger is special because Tiger is Japanese, but he tries very hard to speak English. Angelina is special because she loves dinosaurs. And when Angelina loves someone, she really loves someone. Okay, Hari is special because he really loves Eden. And Hari really likes his friends in giraffe class. And Gan is special because he's the number one line student now. And he can join with us and we can all learn from him also. Okay, Pink Pink is special because she's very sweet and she loves dancing. And she likes to take care of her little sister. Iori and Ito Haruki are really special because they're Japanese. But they always try to understand teacher and they're always really funny and also very good with their good with their schoolwork. They're normally always the first ones finished. And Eden, I can't forget you, Eden. You're so sweet and lovely and you've grown up so very much. You have got such a good sense of humor. You always like to make a funny joke and also you're very good with understanding the teacher. So you see you're all special in special ways. So what this says, embrace our differences. It means the things that is special about you, you should be proud and happy about it, okay? Everybody has something good or something not good about them. Nobody is perfect, okay? So maybe some of you, you maybe have you don't like maths, you're not good with your maths, but if teacher asks you to do um, some speaking, you're amazing with your speaking. Or maybe some of you, you when you're running, you're not very fast, but, oh, if we play the game, like a um, hakubaku beanstalk, maybe you're always super fast at finding the toy, okay? So you need to be proud of what is different and special about you. Okay, look at these people, they're all different. 
different things about them. This one is in a wheelchair, but that's okay. That's what's special about them. I got some people here. So, she has a problem with her legs. We can call her disabled, but I'm sure there's many things that she's good at. And this boy, he looks different to her, right? He has dark skin. But they're still friends and they all like to play together. How about this guy? Oh, he likes singing. Da, 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 da. He likes singing. Look, he's singing to his brush. So maybe at school he's shy to sing in front of his friends. But in, when he's in the shower, he sings to his toothbrush. When he's brushing his hair, he sings to his brush. Look at her. Look at her, she's dancing. Do you know what that one's called? It's amazing, it's like a ribbon and they like that. She has red hair. I have some cousins with red hair too. Sometimes in the sun, my hair looks red, but her hair's ginger red. Then she's got freckles. Okay, how about this little guy? His skin's a bit dark, but his little sister, her skin is a bit whiter. Maybe they have a different mummy or different daddy. But they're still brother and sister. They still really love each other. This girl, she's super good at reading. And this boy, he's not so good at reading, but he's very good with sport. And we got one left. Ah, oh, look at her. She's super good with ball sport, but you see, she doesn't have real legs. She has artificial legs. So maybe she had an accident when she was small, or maybe she was born with no feet, no legs, but that's okay. You see, everyone is different and everybody is special. Look at all the people behind me now. They're all special too. So let's look at some of the things that make us special. Can you see here? I will read it to you. Our hair color. Our eye color. Our height. Our skin color. Our type of family. What else? What else makes you different from the other children in your class? Maybe the country that you come from? Or the food that you like to eat? What things make us special? Okay. I want you to think about your friends and think about something that makes them special. The teacher's going to ask you later when we do our Zoom. So what happens if we all were the same? What if we all looked the same? Same hair, the same face, the same eyes, the same sound, the same body. Hmm. What do you think life would be like? I think it would be a little bit boring. Hmm. Do you think it would be funny if we all looked the same? Maybe you could trick your teacher. It could be time to do a test and you could pretend you are your friend. <laughs> but how about mommy and daddy? When they call you Tiger and Xion, you're gonna look the same. Mommy won't know which one is Tiger and which one is Xion. Hmm. I don't think it would be very good if we all looked the same. I think it would be very boring. So why do you think we all look so different? Hmm. So let's think about Cambodia. We're living in Cambodia, but how many of us were born in Cambodia? Hmm. I think Eden is Cambodian. Chai Long is? Hmm. Pink Pink, Hari Emma. Yong An? We have a lot from Cambodia in our class, but many of us are not Cambodian. So where did we come from? Well, many of you came from Asia 
And that's why you all have black or dark brown hair. That's why in our class, many of you look a bit the same. So if I look at all of your faces together, you look different. But if I put all of you together with a group of African children, you're going to look very different. So why do you think that is? Okay. So do you remember we were talking about all the continents and all the countries? It means we all started in different places in the world, okay? So, teacher Tara, I was born in Australia, but my mummy, she came from England, and my daddy's family, they came from Ireland. So, when I'm born in Australia, there's already many mixed together. My great grandma was Spanish, so that's why teacher has this type of hair. This is my Spanish hair, but I have the freckles and the red in my hair. That's from my Irish side of the family. Okay, so some of you are Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Your great, 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 great grandmother is Japanese. Some of you are mixed, like Jado. Jado is Chinese and Japanese. And Nathan also. Nathan was born in the USA, but he's Chinese and Kamai also. Who else do we have in our class? We had Sakura was Kamai and Japanese. And Kaiti was Japanese and Austrian. Okay, so you can be many, many, many different countries and they can come together and make new children that all look different. That's what makes everything so special. Okay. What does respect mean? Do you know what it means to respect someone? It means because we are all special, we need to be kind and care for everybody. Okay? So when you're children, you need to respect somebody who's older than you. Like mummy, daddy, or your grandma, your nanny, your teacher. Respect them. It means we need to listen to them. But we also need to respect other people around us. If they're younger or the same age, we also need to respect them. It means treat them with kindness. Okay? So if you saw this girl who has a problem with her legs, are you going to laugh at her and make her feel sad? Or are you just going to play with her? Just like your other friends. I see you play with my Pedro and you're always so kind to him. And sometimes you play with, who do we have in our school who looks like this? Mia. Okay. We have Mia. Who else do we have in our school? We got many children from many different countries and you all play together so nicely. I never hear you say, oh, she's Chinese, ooh, she's Australian, oh, he's African. No, you always respect each other and play together so nicely, okay? Do you know what it feels like if somebody is not kind to you? You're going to feel really sad or maybe angry. It's not a nice feeling. So... You should not do that to somebody else and if you see your friend being mean to someone else you need to tell teacher okay good so I want you to remember if somebody looks or acts or sounds different to you it's a good thing because we're all different and differences are what make us special and we're allowed to think and believe what we want. That's what makes our school and the world a special place, okay? So it's okay to have different feelings and different ideas as long as we all love and respect each other and show everybody kindness. Even if somebody is very, very rich or very, very poor on the street, we need to take care of each other, okay? Kindness is the most important thing. 
It doesn't matter if you have the most money in the world or you're the fastest or the smartest or the most beautiful. What matters the most is that you are kind to other people. And then that's what makes you very special indeed.